Welcome back to Biggie Outdoor Radio once again at the top of a new hour. Welcoming those just tuning in for our last hour and thanking those who have been following us so far today. We're headed into our final hour here in the great outdoor broadcast with Big E and Brandon. This hour is brought to you by the great folks at Expedition Archery. You can look them up at ExpeditionArchery.com and find them also on Facebook under Expedition Archery, spelled with an X. They're the makers of the eccentric and the perfection bows. If you're looking for a quality new bow and want performance, smooth shooting, balance, and dependability, Expedition has all the other bows beat hands down. You have to shoot one for yourself to see what we're talking about. So do yourself a favor and check out the Expedition bow. Now, stay tuned for more Big E Outdoor Radio. And we're back, folks, uh, with our final hour of Biggie Outdoor Radio. Uh, thank you for sticking with us so far. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here we are. What you got? Uh, actually, I got this. Uh, I just found this article. It's a sh- it seems to be a pretty short article, but uh, mm-hmm. deer poaching case results in 13 charges. Where's that? Um, this actually was posted on December 8th, so it's been out for a while. But... Uh, mm. Whiteside County um, CPO, so I guess this might be in Illinois, mm-hmm. um, or Knox County, sorry. I don't know why I said that, but uh, wrapped up uh, a lengthy investigation that covered three counties and resulted in 13 charges filed in Knox County. Mm-hmm. Um, as a result of the arrests, the heads of six bucks, 292 pounds of boned-out venison, one landowner deer permit and one Hoyt compound bow were seized. According to the DNR, the venison will be donated to the Illinois Sportsmen Against Hunger. You can read more about the case uh, in the December 25th issue of Illinois Outdoor News. So I actually, uh, during one of our breaks, may head on over to the Illinois Outdoor News here and uh, see if I can follow up on that a little bit more. That uh, it seems like a like a pretty interesting article uh folks if you ever need to you ever trying to kill some time and and uh want some good reading material just go to the outdoor news website and you can click on it uh outdoor news as a whole or you can do outdoor news uh minnesota wisconsin michigan uh, you know pennsylvania wherever you live you can click on the outdoor news for your state and you can see what the most popular articles are you can see uh what the newest articles are Yep. Um, you know, right now here on uh, a most popular article, ice fishing, uh, 2015 through 16. Thoughts on preparing for first ice. This article was December 5th. Uh, in most parts of the state, we're still thinking about how to prepare for the first ice. <laughs> and it's the first week of January. So, yeah, it's been uh, it's been a pretty mild winter, actually. I know I asked my buddy that I go ice fishing with. Uh, down south, I asked him. He said, "Oh, are we gonna do some ice fishing this year." I said, "Yeah, how's the ice down there by?" He said, "What ice?" <laughs> so down by Westfield, I guess there's no ice yet. I wouldn't even go on the ice. I see yeah. people out there. I know there's people out on the ice right now. It's you know, crazy. They're talking. Oh, there's a good two, three inches. Well, let me tell you something. I'm not going out on two inches of ice. <laughs> You're crazy. So, what was that you just showed no, me there? There's a. It's a little buck. And it's a picture that says, this is a trophy in the eyes of some hunters, so keep your comments to yourself, It's not in your, even if it's not in your eyes. Yeah. That's truth right there. It is. Yep. Yep. Uh, trophy is in the eye of the... The be- beholder. The bow holder. That's right. Hey, Brandon, what do you think about <laughs> this? Have you, have you checked up on this militia deal that t- took over that... Do you know who that is? It's the sons of that uh, rancher that was gunned down and murdered by yeah. the cops out there. In, in Nevada? Nevada. Yeah, the... You know, yeah. What, what is we've that always anyways? we've always said that. Okay, here's the thing: nobody ever has done anything because they're always worried that it, that anybody else is going to stand with them. You know, and it's so easy right now. Everybody, all, everybody always talks. Oh, yeah, you know, Obama, the government, and all this kind of stuff. And now all of a sudden, something like this happens, and it's like, okay, you know, if nobody does anything, these people will all get arrested. 
Yeah. But when something like this happens, it's time to make a decision. It's like, is it time? I think it's time. Back them. Is it time to back them? Yeah. Is it time for this to grow to the point that eventually the state backs them? And then after that, another state and another and another and another. And finally, we, we you know, the new people take over and appoint a leader. And then, I mean, this country was founded on a revolution. True, we had true. a civil war. A lot of countries have revolutions when they get somebody in power that just is out of control. And, it, you know, I, the more I read on this, the more I'm thinking, you know, maybe these guys aren't out of, out of whack. What they're doing is they're, like, standing up and saying, hey, look, we're putting ourselves out here right now. Yeah. Who's going to come with us? Who's going to come? Is it time or are you guys going to sit there and talk? Yeah. I believe it's been time for a while, to be honest with you. But nobody does anything. These guys are doing something, hoping that somebody will come with them. Good for them. I like that. Yeah, and I'm, they're a little far away for me to run out there right now. But the thing is, is that it takes a bold action like that, a bold movement like that. To hopefully, get they'll the get some to get some snowball going, and maybe maybe this is what it takes. Maybe it takes that every you know, in every state, two or three of these militias need to pop up, and it's time. You know, they call it. These, everybody thinks all oh, these militias are crazy. No, you know, <laughs> a militia is what our Minutemen militia is what. Defended this country and, and yeah. liberated us. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, when you read up on that, you know, you go through here and you're constantly, you go through social media, look at it. There's wolves attacking on it because they've took, taken away the hunting there. Here's it's just one thing after another, and you go back, and then all of a sudden, here's this, and it's like they jumped on it this rancher and gunned him down in the road for nothing. If you remember that story. Yeah, I remember that story. I remember reading on it and it was very spacey, I guess. <laughs> and so now I'm sitting here thinking, you know what? Perhaps, you know, when you see something like this, rather than sitting back and saying, Oh God, let's watch what happens here. You know, everybody always talks. We need to do something. We need, well, they're doing it. They're doing it. All they need is everybody else that's been talking big all along. Get out there and 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 start banding together and joining them and and uh, you know and if, if maybe maybe that's it. Maybe we take every federal building in in the United States and take it into our hands, the hands of the people, and then we tell you know we hold them and we get get the crooked politicians out of there and we get somebody in there that's not a politician for now put a general in there for now yeah and have him hold the thing until we can have a fair election you know the thing is is there's no reason in this world in the age of technology that we have in computers that we have to have all this silly voting with uh hanging chads and and uh, the the what is it the electoral college and all that kind of stuff you know oh uh, yeah yeah stupid <laughs> you walk in every single person votes bam computerized I can post something to Facebook and within seconds it's on yeah how can my vote can't get counted that fast yeah exactly yeah there's no reason that you can walk in. Give them your identification, your social security number, and you vote by social security number. And if you don't have a social security number, you don't, you don't vote. vote. End yeah. of story. Yep. Walk in, vote. Walk out. Goes in through electronic. It gets tallied immediately. No electoral college. It's the vote of the people. Makes a lot more sense to me. And and the and the candidates should start representing. All of us. I mean, there should be a couple of rednecks in there. Yeah. With jacked up four wheel drive stretch limos. <laughs> and uh <laughs> Enough of these none of these cruisers yeah. with big rims and all that tinted out windows and no, throw a little Some blood farmers, on Farmers, a couple doctors. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine? If you're going to represent the people, represent the people. Can you imagine, like, our, our president rolling up to the White House in a jacked-up F-150 with a gun rack in his back window? Or the know? Pope. 
or the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This year, the Pope is Bubba. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> All hell, Pope Larry. <laughs> yeah. I mean, represent the people and then let us vote. So that your vote counts. And then people can't say, oh, my vote doesn't count anymore. Yeah, I would. It'd be the vote of the people. I can tell you by popular vote. <laughs> we wouldn't have the fool in office that we have now. No. We got the court jester running around, running the country right now. <laughs> jester. Yeah. Something. He'll make a mess out of things before he gets out of there yet. And then, uh, oh, that's his plan. He's got the perfect plan. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're going to get a bunch of people that will vote for the woman because she's a woman. <laughs> I think Caitlyn Jenner should run for president. That might be her vice presidential running mate. Yeah. Then we can prove that a man can also be the first woman to get elected president. <laughs> <laughs> no. A man can also be the first lady. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <coughs> oh, man. That's mean. I don't know why you say those things. I think we should vote for Monica Lewinsky. She obviously got the job done once. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, and cut. All right, yeah. that's that's pretty clever. How you came up with that pretty quick. Yeah, I don't give you enough credit some days. I know. Yeah, I know. A very small room in here. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why you say that? Well, are you going turkey hunting this spring? Probably not. Why? Well, it's turkey hunting. Yeah, but I could I can drive twenty feet and have several opportunities to kill turkeys in them twenty feet. Yeah, but that's not sitting out there calling them in and actually hunting them, Brandon. I know. What well, like we preach, you know, everybody has their certain ways and certain things they like to hunt. And I just I don't, don't enjoy like hunting turkeys. I really don't. I don't. I, now I can't say that I wouldn't enjoy going somewhere else to hunt them. I know oh. that in Wisconsin, I, I'm turkeyed out. I really don't care about a turkey in Wisconsin. I'd probably enjoy it to go to Florida or you know go to the Badlands or you know somewhere else and hunt them. I might enjoy. That I found day. a great spot. I just don't feel turkeys, like I want to hunt them in. Wisconsin. Which you can almost you pretty much guarantee that if you go here and hunt turkeys, hundred percent, you're going to come home with a turkey. Is that that little zoo place up there no. in Minocqua? No. Oh. Walmart frozen section. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine, like, go to the sporting goods section, set take up, a little camel blind, set take up it your over, blind. take it over to the grocery store and set up a blind. Yeah. Sit there, like, all your decked out camo and everything, and just sit there and have have a bunch of people, you know, <laughs> come walking by wondering what in the heck you are doing, you know, hunting turkeys. Yeah, yeah you'd end up. You make the news for that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, folks, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to take another quick break, and we'll be back with another segment of Biggie Outdoor Radio. Grilling season never ends at Dickie's Barbecue Pit in Wausau. Meats are seasoned in slow-smoked and hickory wood-burning pits on-site daily. Buy it as a meal or buy it by the pound. Takeout's available. drive through, dine-in, or even get Dickies to cater your next big event. Dickies Barbecue Pit, located at 2111 Stewart Avenue, across from Furniture and Appliance Mart. Mmm, you can smell the hickory smoke goodness already. Hey, it's deer season, and some of us don't have the best hunting shack. But if you go see our friend Denny at the Shed Shop in Anno on Shano, you can find the perfect little cabin, shed, or even a deer blind. Denny at the Shed Shop has the best little buildings in the Northwoods, all made with the quality of the Mennonites. So check out the Shed Shop today. Give Denny a call at 715-584-3054. The Shed Shop. When you 
BRB Auto Body knows that protecting your vehicle's value is important. That's why they only offer Linex spray on bedliners for trucks. Linex, the industry leader in bedliners backed by a lifetime warranty, offers unmatched protection against gouges, rips, and tears. No lost cargo space and a rattle free, quiet ride. And BRB Auto Body knows that life without your vehicle can be, at best, very difficult. That's why they offer Premier Rent a Car for your convenience. Premier Rent a Car offers competitive rates for all your rental car needs. No replacement vehicle coverage. When BRB repairs your car, they'll supply you with a complimentary vehicle at no cost. Call BRB Auto Body today at 359-9792 or check them out at brbautobodyinc.com. Expect a quality job from BRB Auto Body, BRB Auto Body, BRB Auto Body. County Highway Double X in Rothschild. Hey, it's Mike with Auto Trim and Sign here in Wausau. You already know we do the fun stuff on vehicles. We can also help your business. Whether it's simple lettering, company decals, or even a vehicle wrap, Auto Trim and Sign can design and install graphics perfect for your business. Your car, truck, trailer, big rig, or your company's entire fleet will be in good hands. Check out our website, autotrimofwausau.com, or call us at 715-842-9114. All right, folks, and we're back. Oh, man. We're all just kind of looking at different memes on Facebook right now. I had a few laughs over the break. I'm not sure I can hear you. Right before the break. Oh, what were we talking about before the break? Yeah. That's a good question. Uh, I think we were talking about militias. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, and talking about, uh, oh, we were talking about. Uh, Vice presidential running mates. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bruce yeah. slash Caitlyn Jenner being the first lady. Man, first lady-ish. <laughs> huh. Huh, you say. Yeah. yeah. So you say, huh. You don't want to go there? I don't really want to go there, no. No. Okay, well, you know, I said I'd check. Well, because after our last two elections, you know. Who knows? Who knows where our people are going to take <laughs> us today? Who knows what the heck's going to happen next? <sighs> so, I honestly prefer not to talk about the politics. Oh, I know. We were, I was asking oh, if you were going to yeah. turkey hunt. Turkey hunting, yeah. You were talking about that, too. Yeah. I think we're going to go down and try some turkey hunting in Florida this year. That's good. I like that. We also are reminding people that we're running a, uh, we're going to be doing a hog hunt here coming up, taking folks to the south as soon as we can get enough people signed up. So come on down and mm -hmm. or give us a call, drop us a line on uh, Facebook, Biggie Outdoor Radio on Facebook, or Biggie Outdoors on Facebook. Hmm. Talk to us there. We'll get you some information. We'll go down and do uh, be like a four day weekend, and we'll hunt there about two days. Shoot all the hogs you want. Bring back some good, yeah. good. Uh, One day for driving, two days of hunting, another day for driving home. Clean day, clean, clean pork. Oh no, yeah, no preservatives, nice and lean, excellent stuff. I had somebody ask me in the store, so what does that taste like? That wild wild boar. What, what's that wild taste? Wild pig taste like? Uh, like pig, like pork. <laughs> it's not any different. It's no. a pig. It's you know. It tastes good. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. Just a little, a little bit more lean. Yeah. Which ain't a bad thing. No. You know, Lord knows a lot of us need to, you know, eat a little less fat. Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was trying not to, but you got me. So, I, was, I was actually thinking about when I was walking around in Walmart last, you know, I was thinking about a lot of us need to eat a lot less. You ever see that website, peopleofwalmart.com? I mean, just you just see the weird... We're the only country out there that's like that. <sighs> it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. In fact, I was in Walmart the other day, and I thought about taking a picture and posting it to that website. Oh, yeah. What, did you see something interesting? Oh, yeah. yeah it was... Ugh. Yeah. It is enough to make a guy gag. 
So anyway, if, if you're looking to go to uh, go go along with us, we'd love to have you join us and go on this hog hunt. Mm-hmm. And also come see us about the middle of the month. Our museum should be opening. Yeah. Yeah, we got uh, just making the finishing touches on it. We've got a couple of murals yet to finish. A couple mounts left to hang. And I'll tell you what, <clears throat> I'm excited about it. The place looks yeah. awesome. Um, it's really cool. Can't wait to open the doors for that place. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic, yeah. Educational. Yeah. Um, come on in there. and We'll give you a guided tour even yeah. of the museum once we open it. The guided tour will uh, really give you a lot of in-depth information on the animals and the things that are in there. And as we open, you got to remember that there's going to be a lot of on-the-go changes. So even if you come down there like right away, a month or two later, there's going to be a lot of new stuff. So it's worth oh, coming yeah. back. Very, there's always changes. Very going affordable, on. free to kids under 16. What? I thought it was 12. Might be. I'll have to look. Yeah, I think we it had might it be at under 12. twelve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we had it at twelve, um, as long as you're accompanied by an adult. By, ad- by an adult, yeah. Yep. And it's uh, even even without even even for the adults, mm-hmm. it's not very expensive. No, it's couple, not. A couple bucks no. to come come in there. You'll probably spend a good hour or so, uh, really. You know, learning a lot about. The animals, where they come from, why they're hunted, the fact that a lot of things get eaten that you don't think get eaten in the world. I know I've eaten some things that would uh, make you think. Especially over in Africa. Snake. Whew. I've eaten snake. Warthog tongue. Actually, that was good. That was just uh, just a weird texture. Just imagine you had something in your mouth. Kudu nut. That was from another animal's mouth. It's like French kissing a warthog. <laughs> kind of. Well, you've done that before anyway. <laughs> I I watched. Not even touching that. So. They're not even going there. What, what's he looking at over there? Is that X-rated? Triple X? What are you doing? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. He gets he gets all it's quiet. A, I can read it from here almost. Something about I support single moms dot com or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he gets so quiet when he's looking at his uh the girly <laughs> sites over there. He's drooling on the counter. <laughs> Just don't drool on the electronics up there and short out the radio show. <laughs> <laughs> Electrocute himself, that'd be uh-huh. well, I mean if our technician, our operator, or what is what would we do if something happened to him? We wouldn't even be able to go to commercial break. We'd have to talk nonstop all day long until somebody got yeah. here. Well, he showed me the button one time that I need to push, and I don't remember what it was. So we would have, <laughs> yeah, you know, when it got to the top of this hour and we had to go live so that uh, you know the we wouldn't NFL can take over. We wouldn't be able Speaking to. Speaking of NFL, yeah, no free lunch. <laughs> no kidding, yeah, and and it's such a, it's such a anticipated game this week that our time got changed from what was it like a three o'clock kickoff to a seven. That's happened. That's happened in the past before to us. Yeah. All We're, right. So get this. Okay. Yeah. In the last seven, or no, I shouldn't say seven years, the Vikings have lost the last seven on the road matchup, or last, uh, or six of the last seven on the road matchups. For week 17. The mm. last time they won in week 17 on the road was 2002. The Packers have won the last 13 home game week 17 matchups. So with the odds being the way they are, I think the Packers are going to lose tonight. Yeah. The odds are, <laughs> the odds are against them. <laughs> no, the, the odds are actually very much in their favor, but every time they've been very much in the Packers. That's what I mean. The odds. Yeah. It's sooner or later your streak's going to break. Th- so this the odds year, are to the point that it's like, hey, guess what? It's your year you're going to lose. This right? year a lot of our streaks came to an end like that. You know, look at the Lions. Speaking and, of streaking. <laughs> Speaking of streaking, what are you doing later? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but. Uh, well, I think you and me and Tim, we should go for a new jog through Marathon Park. Yeah, I think we'd all get arrested. 
Maybe. Maybe yeah. we'll do it for charity. <laughs> if you do it for charity, it's okay. Not Anything even. you do for charity yeah. is okay. No, but uh, no, folks. I am a I'm a diehard Packers fan. But I look at the way that our season has gone. I look at how wounded our offense is and how much we suck. How well we haven't been playing. <laughs> the Packers are not that good this year. I don't care what anybody says. They've made it. They've kind of tripped, stumbled, and fell upstairs. <laughs> it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a tight matchup tonight. That's that's what I'm gonna say. I I really hope the Packers win, but at the same time, I know it's gonna be a tough one. The Vikings have been playing pretty good football. We haven't. I'm just gonna watch the game for the wings and beer because it's not gonna be. Oh yeah, it's wings not and beer. Be, it's not gonna be pretty. I think I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna cook for the game tonight. Oh, then I guess I'll be eating at your house. You know it. Yep. And how'd, <laughs> how'd you like that beef jerky I made yesterday? Huh? That was good stuff. Yep. I made three pounds of beef jerky yesterday. I got a pound left. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It it's good stuff. Quick. Isn't that how all good things go? That's right. Yeah. You know, so I can. Then I have to go up to Merrill and pick up the rest of my meat. That way I can make more. So, what do you think of that? Mm. That sounds like a good plan. Did you have to grind it all, or did you just use the hamburger stuff? I use the hamburger stuff, man. That is the best way to go, because then you don't have to cut it. You don't have to cut it and marinate it and try and tenderize it all. You use the ground stuff. I got a jerky gun. You squeeze it right out of there. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. I love it. Huh. That was the best, like, 70 bucks I spent on myself in a while. Except for that one time when we were on the road. Remember that place we went to that where yes. they had the, the girls that did that thing? Yeah. Uh, but no, other than that. That was more than 70 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, honey. Yeah. Just playing. I know you're listening. Yeah. You better be careful. Bad joke, bad joke. Bigfoot will come bad get joke. you. Hey, quiet over there. <laughs> Stop it with the Bigfoot jokes. Why? Because I know where you go with them. Hmm. We better take a quick break before you get me in trouble. (laughs) (laughs) All right, folks, we'll be right back uh, with the last half hour of our Biggie Outdoor Radio. It's the ultimate tailgate event. Your chance to score big savings at Stark GM of Merrill. Last month, Stark finished 22nd in GM certified sales in the entire United States of America. So if you're looking for a GM certified pre-owned, Stark is the place. Find 30 certified pre-owned cruises starting at $9,995 for $149 a month. Choose from 14 GM certified Chevy Impalas starting at $12,988 for $196 a month. Or lease a new 2015 Chevy Cruze just $69 a month. And Stark is your truck headquarters. And that's why you can save up to eleven thousand dollars on select 2015 crew cabs. Hurry! This ultimate tailgate event ends soon at Stark GM of Merrill and Highway 51 in Q. Or visit us at StarkMerrill.com. Plus tax and license fees. Cruise selling price ninety nine ninety five. One forty nine a month. Zero down. Seventy two months. Three point four nine percent. Impala selling price twelve nine eighty eight. One ninety six a month. Zero down. Three point eight four percent APR. Seventy five months with approved credit. Twenty four month lease. Ten thousand miles a year. Forty four fifty in rebates included. Must currently lease a non GM vehicle. While supplies last. See dealer for details. Based on August GM certified pre owned sales in the country. Looking for the perfect gift for your hunter? How about some hydrographic dipping? Check out Adrenaline Hydro down at the Cedar Creek Mall. They're located in the Biggie Outdoor Museum and Pro Shop. You'll find the hydrographic solution to all your needs. Let Adrenaline Hydro put a custom look on your gun stock, deer skulls, bar glasses, car and truck rims, or even put a graphic design on the entire interior of your car or truck. Come see us for a deer season special. Bring us your deer head, uncleaned, and we'll beetle clean it and dip it with your choice of over a thousand different patterns for only $125 for the whole package. Get on down to Cedar Creek Mall and grab a gift certificate for this now before the special ends. That's Adrenaline Hydro down at the Cedar Creek Mall, located in the Biggie Outdoor Museum and Pro Shop. Every single day, people just like you are leading happier, healthier lives by working out at Snap Fitness. With two locations, one in Weston and one in Wausau across from Fleet Farm, the hardest part of getting into shape is just walking into gym for the first time. So don't wait any longer. Head on down to the best deal in town and the best atmosphere you'll find for getting into shape. Trained professionals at Snap Fitness make them the perfect choice over any other fitness center in the area. 
Snap offers fitness classes, professional trainers, and the best equipment around. Get your own personal key to a private gym. Work out anytime you want, 24-7, in a members-only environment. No need to lock into the long-term contracts of other gyms. And tell them you want the Biggie Outdoor Special to get the best deal around on your membership. Snap Fitness in Wausau and Weston. Back, we are back. Back with some more, yeah. some more of the great music than the Biggie Outdoor. You know that's what we should do is we should play like every every hour. We should play the song of the hour. What? What do you mean? How do you know what the song of the hour is? We'll choose. Like we'll put Eric Church on one day. We'll say, "Hey, a song of the hour," and it's Eric Church singing. Peanuts and Skittles, or whatever it is, you know, and we put them on. And seriously, that's the best song title you could come up with. <laughs> Peanuts and Skittles. <laughs> you need to quit listening to Disney Radio, buddy. There's peanuts in my Coke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. And corn in the toilet. I got news for you. If there's peanuts in your Coke, that's not Coke you're drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. just just to follow up on the Skittles thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you can when you have everybody over for uh, the beginning of April. Yeah, uh, get a large bowl, dump a bag of Skittles, a bag of plain M and M's, and a bag of Reese's Pieces all oh. in the same bowl. Oh, that's hilarious! That's why, nasty. why the beginning of April? Yeah, what's going on in the beginning of April? April 1st. Oh, April Fool's Day. Oh, April Fool's. Oh, no, usually I do one better than that. I make everybody think that I wrap my truck around a telephone pole or something. Yeah, don't be doing that anymore. In fact, the one year I told my dad that the elk broke out of the ranch, and I had him going like 100 miles an hour through Plover. And I gave him him like 10 minutes before I called him back and told him that the elk actually hadn't broke out because I knew by then he was dressed out of bed and already on the interstate, had the truck maxed out. And when I called him, he was he was irate. He was, yeah, yeah, he was not happy. No, and I was laughing. I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was great. So actually, there's been a few years. There's been the last I don't know, probably three or four years. I've gotten him pretty good on April first. Ha 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 ha. ha. <laughs> Brandon, this next week I have to go to the ATA show down in. Uh, Louisville. And fortunately, I cannot go with you. Not this year. Not Man. This year. But soon enough. Soon enough. What's yeah. ATA? ATA is the Archery Trade Association show. It's uh, Most trade shows are consumer shows. This one is not. This one is for uh, This one is for people who have small archery shops, for people with uh, uh, TV shows or whatever to go and they actually go to the companies, uh, Bowtech themselves, uh, Matthews themselves are actually going to be there. Um, all these sites, optics. Um, Everything that has it. to do with archery that's coming out new yeah. for, for this year will be there. We'll yeah. actually see, like on, on Tuesday morning, I'll see the unveiling of all the new bows. Yep. They'll they'll take their turn and they'll go around like, you know, Bowtech will have an unveiling and, and uh, PSE and all of them. And what will happen is they make a big event out of it, and all their new models will be there. So yep. their they're newest, you know, anything to do with archery. Yep. We'll actually see what's going to be new. And they, they won't release it on social media. Their website's nothing until the ATA show. Yep. So, yeah, that's uh, the ATA show is um, a consumer can't get in there. You have to either have a small. Uh, you have to have uh, some kind of a business or have an invite. Yeah, a business or, or an invite. Uh, some a lot of people get in by the sponsors that they have for their radio show or for their TV show, whatever they might have. Yeah. Um, a sponsor might be able to get them in. Otherwise, you have to have a, a shop or a business, basically, yeah. to get into it. So It's a big show. They never hold it it's on also, the weekends. So. No, it's also where, like, uh, they'll, they will have, um, like, new things will come out, uh, new products that haven't. Yeah. haven't been on the market yet like a new scent 
or a new Target. A lot of these things have started there. You know, that, that's where they get introduced for the first time. And then sometimes these little companies will be there. And they have a room that's called the Innovations Room. Yep. And for any manufacturer that has a new product that hasn't been out on the market, for the first two years of going to the ATA show, they have to go to this Innovations Room. So the main floor, this show is huge. The main floor has all your manufacturers that you used to, you know, I mean, Outdoor Edge will be there. Nikon. Nikon, yeah. Zeiss. I mean, every if it's got anything to do with hunting, with archery, optics, sights. Targets. You name it. <laughs> yeah, They're there, there and they're set up. And I mean, they're set up big time. Yep. I mean, you know, we're talking about... Monster booths with even, all the all the Reinhardt targets will be set up. They'll even have hunting apparel there too. I mean, they'll have the cross. Will be you can there. shoot every bow. You see everything, but you can't buy anything yep. there really. Yep, they have a lot of scent lock stuff there. Mm-hmm. Yep. Just you said apparel. Um, does that does that mean your That's buddy's going to be there? What buddy? Didn't you have? Didn't we have a guy on here? That, uh, the oh. summer, uh, oh yeah, uh, kids camel or something. I don't know if kids and camel. No, they won't be there. He doesn't usually go there. He, no. for some reason, doesn't hit those. But you know what? He should. He should. Yeah, those would be good ones for. Because him. if he would get to that show, he'd pick up but, a lot of dealers. Yeah, quick. big big apparel. You know, um, like a lot of like the scent lock stuff. Uh, you know, Real Tree has a booth there. Mossy yep. Oak has a booth there. Yep. You know, a lot of these, a lot of these uh, big camel companies and and any so, big uh, products, blinds and stuff. So then, then the, then you'll have the innovations room, and that's where like there was a company in Wisconsin called White Taylor Products. They were in there for a while. You know, they yep. make sense and they had things. And then there's there what was is this till til, uh, until proven room basically. Uh, or? They have to kind of yes and show no. that they're going to be in business for a while. Yeah, yeah you know, um, some of them, some of them are actually. It's funny because some of them are products you haven't heard of at all, and then some of them you might say, "Yeah, you know what? I did hear that," and that's because it's a local product to you. And you see it in the innovations room, and you're like, "Oh yeah, you know, I've seen this at the gas station down the street from me." Well, that's because or is this these also to help, from- or is this to hi- or is it more to highlight these smaller? It it kind of is, but the thing is, is that it stops like somebody that has a one hit wonder from just going in there renting a booth and then trying to get it out. You know, they have to have a track record. If they're going to come there and they're to be their first time at the ATA, they want to know they're going to keep coming and that they have something that's worth getting this huge booth and getting into their show. You know, and stuff like that. Like, like let's say we had a new scent product. We decided, hey, we need to get this in. Now, we might try selling that on our own. We might try selling it on our own for 10 years. But then when we finally decide to give in and go to the ATA show, we we're going to start out in that room. Two years in that room, yeah. And it's funny because a lot of these products that end up in that room, not a lot of them, but quite a few of them anyways. Get bought out before the end of the show. You'll see these big groups of people come walking in all of a sudden. Like You'll have scouts. You'll have people that will come through there, and they'll be looking at them. And you might have three guys in that room that are all with the same company, and they're all looking at different things, and eventually they all look at everything, and they all kind of converse on it, you know, and see what they thought about everything. And then they'll go back to the main company. Like, it might be a tree stand, for instance. Yep. And then they all go back, and they might be talking with uh, old man tree stands or somebody over there. Yeah. And all of a sudden that company will come over there. Like 10 of them. And make them an (laughs) offer to buy the whole thing. Now, some of these guys won't sell. They'll be like, no, you know what? I own my company. I want to make my product and do it that way. But a lot of these guys are sitting there, and usually every year, anywhere from three to six of these little booths, Get bought by up. the second day, it's an empty booth. Yeah. The co- somebody the came com- in there, cut them a check, yeah. and said, give us all your stuff. Yeah, the done. big company comes in there. Buys them out. They buy them out, and they, and they take everything they have there for product. They take it all, put it, put it away so they can take it back and tweak it and make it their own, tie it in with their company. Rebrand it. Yep, yep, basically, and that booth will sit empty. That's how the innovations room works. Yep. Yep. Do the large, let's just pick on two that I'm aware of, like a mossy oak or a real tree. Mm-hmm. If they come out with something new, does that have to go in there? No, because they're, they're a proven company. Yep. So then, so there's so two th- for all the new stuff, then either A, you have the innovations room where you can go in and you'll see most likely see something new, something you've never may have never seen or heard of before. Yep. yep. 
and then the rest of it you have to go to yeah, you then you got to go to every companies other. that have been around and have already, you know, have been advertising but, there every year. So, they're coming out with their 2016 products. Yeah, you have to go to every booth to see what's new. What's new for yeah. this year? What's new bows? What's new? The innovations room is new companies, new, products, new products to yeah. the industry. Yeah. And the only way it wouldn't be a new product to the industry if it was a small company that was trying to sell it on their own for a long time and then they finally decided, okay, you know, well, for instance, our our buddies who are sponsors of our C E Z raps. Yep. They've got the and they've been out for a few years. They've <laughs> never been to the ATA show. Yep. If he decided that he was gonna go to the ATA show, which would be a huge help for him. He'd be in the innovation But he'd room. have to start out in the innovations room. Yep. And he would have to he would have to bite he'd have to fight the urge to accept he one he of wouldn't these make companies. it. He wouldn't make it. No, first day, the, first day he'd get bought out. I guarantee it. That that product would get bought out in a heartbeat, and I don't know if he would, if he would have the ability to stand his ground and not sell his no. company. I think somebody comes sell. up to you with a check with enough zeros on it, and you have a product yeah. like that, you're going to sell it. And a product like he has would have enough zeros on it. Yeah. I would probably sell it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I there's know. a lot of things I'd sell, but nobody ever wrote me a check for Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> it took me long enough to find somebody that would marry him and take him away. <laughs> there you go. Him or you? Me. He's talking about me. Yep. Yeah. We're not uh, going anywhere else. 30 seconds we got left here, and <laughs> then we get to go ahead and wrap up this show. Why is this the last segment? No, no, not this segment. The next segment. That's Why do you always keep... Up. Fooling no, me I'm, like that. Man, yeah, you know what? Like, you just got to pay attention. You know? He's too poor. So, yeah, I, do. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> afford attention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, folks. Hang tight, and we'll be right back with the final segment of Biggie Outdoor Radio. Thank you for listening. My brother Paul was a real Renaissance man, a big city ER doctor, an outdoorsman, and always the smartest person in the room. When he was killed in a deer vehicle collision, I thought it was a freak accident, but I was wrong. Each year, deer vehicle crashes cause death, damage, and injuries. About one in every hundred drivers is likely to have a collision with a deer. For tips to avoid hitting a deer and the best rates in town, visit Champion Insurance in Weston. Troy Champion, your personal Erie Insurance agent. A message from Troy Champion Insurance and Erie Insurance Agencies. Blazing Gifts at 1701 North 6th Street in Wausau is your downtown destination for novelty and specialty gifts. Stop in and check out Blazing Gifts for t-shirts, knives, and other specialty items, including incense, candles, and more. Blazing Gifts handles items not found in everyday stores, even custom decals made to order. Check out Blazing Gifts at 1701 North 6th Street, downtown Wausau. Biggie Outdoors, located at Cedar Creek, is reopening its doors soon after its new remodeling. Home to the area's first and only big game hunting museum, with educational exhibits displaying animals from around the world and facts around the hunters' contributions to their survival. Pick up some unique souvenirs and gifts from the museum and from the Biggie TV shows. Meet the pro staff from Biggie TV and Biggie Outdoor Radio. A great place to stop in with the whole family. And while you're there, book your next hunting trip with the Biggie Outdoors Professional Hunters. With over 21 personal hunting destinations worldwide, you'll be sure to find a quality getaway with the Biggie Outdoors destinations. Biggie Outdoors is also home to Adrenaline High Geographic. Check us out online at BiggieOutfitters.com and register to win a free hunt. Biggie Outdoors at Cedar Creek. So this guy came into the store recently and he said it's my 30th anniversary and I want to get something fine for my wife. I haven't bought her jewelry in a long time and it's time. Well, of course, we agreed and we helped him find a diamond bracelet that we were quite sure would blow her socks off. Well, a few days later, he came back into Jim Creeshocks and we asked him, so did she like her bracelet? He looked at us and he smiled and then he said, well, she liked it so much that she... And then he stopped smiling. She liked it so much that she, what, we said. Well, she liked it so much that she, and then he stopped again. And then we got it. 
So, she's very happy, I said. And he nodded. And you're very happy, I said. And he nodded again. And I said, now that is what we're talking about. We're Jim Creeshock Jewelers on Rib Mountain Drive. And nobody renders guys speechless quite like we do. Hey, welcome back. Final segment, Brandon, wrapping up the hour of uh, Big E Outdoor Radio. Yeah, buddy. We're back. Ish. Ish, yeah. We were talking about the ATA show. Yep. No. Uh, we were explaining to Tim and to our listeners here about what the ATA is all about. A lot of people haven't really even heard of the ATA show because, again, you have to be, you know, a bow dealer. All your archery shops yeah. have. You go there and ask Yeah, them. I mean, archery shops and, and, and big uh, product companies know what the ATA show is, but it makes sense that a just a, a, your typical average consumer wouldn't know what the ATA show is. So, no. Yeah. And there is another... Uh, consumer show that's like that that a lot more people probably have heard of um but this one's not for archery it's not geared toward archery it's geared toward all hunting yep um also it it tends to lean a lot toward uh firearm hunting and things like that but it's the shot show and usually that one's in vegas every year and the shot show is the same thing so what'll happen is the ata show goes and there's usually like a week in between and then a lot of those companies like Zeiss, Nikon, uh, Rangefinders, pack up, pack up like, the truck and they go out to Vegas. Had, <laughs> yeah, like like the uh, like Real Tree and people. That, now, if they've got a booth, let's say for instance, like Real Tree, their booth at the ATA show will be probably like the size of fifty one of our, by fifty. <laughs> yeah, it's it's huge. I mean, it's, it's even bigger than that. Yeah, it is. It's a big you booth. Know. It's like well, the size because, of a small grocery because store. The, the real what, tree, they have a, they're they have all a, like that. They have a t- uh, like a twenty-five yard range in the booth, or what? Sometimes, I mean, yeah. they, there's bow shooting there and everything. I mean, these booths are huge. This isn't some place you go to and they got these little twenty foot booths. <laughs> all right, uh, see, like a booth like Real Tree, it will have sometimes it'll have a couple of their bigger sponsors in with it. Um, they might have like a scent blocker. Um, um, rep in there with them and have you know scent blocker apparel in there. Uh, or they'll have not just Bill Jordan, but Bill Jordan and Michael Waddell and anybody else who has hunted or started their hunting career in Real Tree Outdoors. You know, all these people that may have Real Tree as a sponsor of theirs, they'll tie them all into this one booth. So they get a monstrous booth and they just put on one heck of a display. All these people will be, you know, they'll be able to come through there and anything that has to do anything with Real Tree. You'll generally find it right there in the real tree, bro- real tree booth, or right across the aisle from it. So, yeah. So, in other words, it's a neighborhood. Pretty much, yeah. That's the best way to think of it. Yeah, it's a neighborhood. Only everybody in the neighborhood has the same interest, same goals. They're all tied to one thing. But the booth that they have at the shot show. Is even bigger. Blow away the booth at the ATA show. Even bigger, yeah. yeah. They've got a big booth at the ATA show. They've got a monstrous booth at the ATA show. Yeah. They go out to the SHOT show, and you can probably double or triple the size of the booth. It's just Mm -hmm. huge. I didn't know there were that many cousins. (laughs) Well, you do know what state Realtree comes out of, right? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) No. Honestly. Kentucky? No, isn't it like Virginia? No, it's Alabama or, and Georgia. Is it Alabama and Georgia? I thought it was. I thought for some reason that Realtree or Bill Jordan were there were Virginia guys or whatever. I guess I was wrong. My fault. Do they make dentures? <laughs> Do they make what? Dentures. They ought to. Camouflage dentures. Now, there we're talking. Most rednecks. Don't need camouflage dentures. You got a lot of chew packed. <laughs> they in got there. a lot of spots in there, yeah. anyways. You got enough chew packed into your teeth, and they're fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that'd be cool. To have that much chew in your teeth? No, to have no, no, no. To have camouflage dentures. No, I, right now I could go for some chew in my teeth, but I'll be all right. Yeah, don't say chew around Brandon. He just <laughs> quit. So he has a little bit of withdrawals whenever you say the word chew or tobacco, Copenhagen, anything wintergreen. 
<laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me like you want to eat me. You know, I have. Hey, I have, man, I'm a turkey. He said he's trying to cut down on his fat intake in yeah. the last week. You watch him eat these donuts. He ain't cutting down on no <laughs> fat intake. In the right last in week, I have eaten so many, like. Like I keep like Werthers and little lifesaver candies and stuff in my truck. <laughs> like seriously, it drives you me. used to pick on me for that for carrying them Werthers around in the truck, dude. I have to. I have to have something like to suck on. I, I do. <laughs> Let's go hunting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> seriously, like I got it. I've got to have something to put in my mouth. Otherwise, <laughs> like I'm, I would, said, would you stop it, man? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So anyway, we're, the the shot show is in Vegas. It's a couple weeks later. Then I have to. I'll probably be going out there because we also have some firearm sponsors and some things like that. And so we'll probably be going to see some of those. And then you also get meetings with some of these industry folks, and you pick up new sponsors, things like that. So, so you'll actually like be wearing a suit and tie. No. Huh. No. 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 <laughs> No. The next time you see me in a suit and tie, they'll be putting me in the ground. I can promise you that. No tuxes for this guy, no suit and tie, no nothing. Never, ever, ever again. Ever. Did I mention ever? This is a good donut. Really good, good donut. Very good donut? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So... So then, anyhow, so yeah, one of our uh, one of our sponsors, uh, Hard Custom Rifles, will be out there. Another one, uh, Central Wisconsin Armory, actually has a booth in in um, Shot Show uh, at ATA. One of our sponsors is Next Gen Crossbows and Slayer Broadheads. They'll actually be there. They're actually going to be in the Innovations Room, and it's because they actually ju- they just brought the uh, the Next Gen company just brought. Their crossbow to the U.S. from Canada. From Canada, eh, eh. <laughs> and um, they're out of Missouri now. Missouri. Yeah. I guess when you move from Canada, you move to Missouri. You move to somewhere in the south. Why wouldn't you? Like <laughs> if I move from Wisconsin, yeah, I'm getting the heck away from winter. What? You're not going to move to Montana? No. Mm-mm. Nor Alaska. No. Mm-mm. No. If I you move, see how much snow they got up in Alaska, I move away from Wisconsin. I'm going somewhere where it's going to be warm at least most of the year. Yeah. yeah. I understand that. Margaritaville. That's what we're going to you know. be doing. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna start uh, singing. Would you be Would you be considered moving to a foreign country? No. Oh, so that means California is out. Yeah, there that's about as foreign as it gets. I, I can tell you right now, there ain't no way in heck you'd catch me moving to California. <laughs> Actually, though, the weather in California was nice where it's, we went, but the it was we nice. were in Huntington Beach. The weather was nice where we went, but yes, Huntington Beach, it's, it's L.A. There ain't yeah. no way. The other no thing way. That I like about living where we live compared to California is that when I see a woman walking down a street, you know, I'm it's a woman. pretty sure it's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> good. Yeah, good point. You know? Yeah. But... What are you saying, Bruce? <laughs> yeah. You, you know what? When we but were over there, there's a lot of... Um, we, I, I, we were recording this over at the studio over at Cedar Creek the other day, and a couple weeks ago, and there was a little bit of a fruity one walk by. It was a transgender-looking thing, and I'm pretty sure. So I, I, so I think that we might have some of those it, around here as well. Oh. I'm not afraid to say it. That's what I think. Listen. You are how you were born. If you want to change your anatomy around, something wrong with your medulla oblongata. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mama says alligators is angry because they got all them teeth and no toothbrush. Yeah. <laughs> and short arms. And the wolverines is whooping up on them. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> the bowl game. Uh, I just, uh, actually that wasn't the Wolverines though, was it? Yeah, was it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are you looking at? The timer? Are you just like you're gonna sit no. there silent and watch it count down? We have two minutes. No, left. I was actually, I was actually like staring into space. He there. was. He's actually correct. Huh. What? Two minutes. Oh, wicked cool. Yeah. No, I, I was actually staring off into space there. I was 
I thought you said fifty six fifty. Two minutes, I can. Oh five. Two minutes, I can. Uh, so I can minute. tell. It's uh-huh. like I have a natural timer in my body for two minutes. Do you know? <laughs> I, oh, I, oh, I, it's like an egg timer. Uh, mine's about a minute and a half. <laughs> <laughs> what does this have to do with hunting? That's what I want to know. You know, we kind of fishing, like. You know, I'm glad we didn't everything, buy an ice shack this year. That would have been a waste. Yeah, right? Jeez almighty. No, everything we do seems to get so far off track. Like, we start out talking about this hunting topic, and then we're talking about the timer Whatever. in our body. What, are you, yeah, what well. are you doing like that for? What's this mean? He wants to be a helicopter. Yeah. Yeah. Are That's we done? I'm thinking. I are guess we so. Done? Yeah, I guess we're hey, done. see you next week, or hear you next week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for listening, buddy. Yeah. <laughs>